Okay, we're live. Hi guys, welcome. My name is uh, is Emer. I'm from Montenegro uh, in Milan. Um, I hope you're having a good evening. Um, Say hi in the chat. You can use the chat to say hi and talk about to discuss the topics. Uh, so my name is Emer. I'm from uh, Montenegro in Milan, uh, the school I work in here. Um, I'm from Dublin in Ireland. I moved to Milan. Uh, uh, nearly three months ago, I moved here in January. Um, so very exciting. Uh, I'm 23, uh, 23 years old. Um, I like, um, music and, uh, theater, singing. So introduce yourself in the chat. What's your name? Where are you from? Um, yeah, you can see in the chat. What's your name? Where are you from? My name is Emer from Ireland. Has anyone been to Dublin before or been to Ireland? Dublin is the capital of Ireland, it's the main city. It's, um, it's quite small, it's a small city compared to Milan. Milan is very big. Okay, so today uh, we are talking about the past. Um, so we can talk about the past. Let's see what it says. So uh, talking about the past in this focus activity, talking about yourself, past simple and past continuous, uh, talking about experiences. So talking about yourself in the past. So um, in this focus activity, uh, we use uh, education as an example. Um, so I graduated from university um, how many? two years ago. Um, I did a three-year um, arts degree in geography and sociology. So um, uh, it was um, challenging sometimes, um, but I made lots of friends and got lots of experience. Um, cool. So in this focus activity, we're using past simple and past continuous so ah hi gabrielle from florence oh beautiful i was i was just in florence uh in january i did my um did my training in florence nice to meet you lovely um okay so in this focus activity we're using past simple and past continuous can you uh, tell me when do we use past simple? When do we use past simple? Uh, Vladimir, hello from Bologna. Oh, beautiful. Great. Okay, so. Uh, in this act, in this uh, lesson, 
we'll use the chat a lot to answer questions. So if you have any questions, uh, put them in the chat or uh, just to join in the exercise, feel free. The more you put in the chat, the more we can work together. So it's very helpful. So do you know when, when do we use past simple? Um, Gabrielle, Ele, Gabrielle, Gabrielle, sorry, I'm probably saying that wrong. Um, past simple we use for finished activity in the past. Yes, very good, perfect. And when do we use uh, past continuous? Yes, simple, that's fine. Perfect, uh, Gabriella, well done. Um, and when do we use past continuous? When do we use past continuous? So we use past simple for a finished activity in the past. But when do we use past continuous? Do you know? Uh, Gabriele, past continuous for activity in this moment? Yes, sort of. Yeah, so um, an activity that is happening in the past. Yeah. Uh, so this is useful um, uh, for statements like, uh, or sentences like, uh, I was doing a degree in uh, geography. Um, perfect, yeah. You're both uh, very good there. Vladimir, when an activity is not finished. Lovely. Don't forget your articles. When an activity is not finished. Good. Very good. Perfect. Okay. Let's see. We'll go on to the next slide. So talking about the past, where were you born and raised? Uh, and where and what did you study? It could be primary or secondary school. So uh, a college or university uh, or a master's or professional degree. So first question, where were you born and raised? Where were you born and raised? I was born in London, but I was raised in uh, Dublin, in Ireland. So a little strange, but my parents were living in London when I was born, but they moved uh, back to Ireland when I was uh, three. So I was born in London, but I was raised, I grew up in Ireland. So where were you born and raised? Okay, um, Gabriele, I was born and raised in Sardinia. Lovely. Um, Vladimir, I was born in Ukraine. Okay. And did you grow up in Ukraine, Vladimir, as well? Okay. Um, and the next question, uh, where and what did you study? So where and what did you study? It could be primary or secondary school, college or university, a master's or professional degree. So where and what did you study? So where, where did I study? I studied, so tell us in the chat, where and what did you study? So um, I studied in Dublin um, in the, uh, the university, University College Dublin, 
Um, and I studied geography and sociology for my undergraduate degree. I didn't do a, a, a master's. So tell, let me know, tell me in the chat, uh, where were you born and, oh, sorry, uh, sorry. Uh, where and what did you study? Uh, so. Interesting. Or maybe you didn't go to university, you just went to secondary school. So there's just a small delay between uh, you typing out the comment in the chat and me seeing it. So um, I'm not ignoring you. I just haven't seen it. Um, Gabriele, uh, I attended all school in Sardinia. Okay, great. Um, and what did you study in school? What did you study in school? Uh, Vladimir, I was study studying in university. Okay. I was studying in university in Ukraine department of physics okay so um for uh for this kind of uh statement we would use a uh, past simple so um you're finished you finished uh studying so we say i studied ah, yes exactly physics very good vladimir um i studied uh, in university in Ukraine uh, in the Department of Physics. Um, I Department of Physics in university. in Ukraine. I studied um, in the Department of Physics. Yeah, or, or you could just say I studied physics. I studied physics in university in Ukraine. It's much simpler actually. I studied physics in university in Ukraine. Okay, and Gabriele, what did you study in you in uh, in school? What did you study in school? Or if you uh, if you didn't go to university, um, what kind of what type of uh, secondary school were you in? Because in Italy there are lots of different types of secondary schools, the arts, art, art secondary school, uh, scientific, marketing, there are so many types. In Ireland, there is one. Uh, we all go to the same type of university or um, of secondary school, but in Italy, it's different. So let me know in the chat, I'll go on to the next slide. So, <clears throat> excuse me, um, talking about the past, match to complete the short autobiography. I was born, I grew up just, I went to, I studied both, I worked at, I went back to, in the country, on uh, an art school outside of Vienna, school to get a master's in art history, 
a gallery for a while, history and visual arts. So we must match both uh, parts of the sentence together to make the correct sentence. So I'll give you a few seconds um, to start and then we'll go through it. So matching to complete the autobiography. Okay, matching on the left with the right. Oh, Gabriele, I studied art history. Wow, beautiful. Um, Vladimir, um, you can say I was studying, but um, not for a statement. Um, not for a statement. So, for example, um, if I was telling a story, I was studying uh, physics in Ukraine when I met my friend Charlie, okay? Uh, or when I met my husband or whatever, my wife. Um, so for a statement, a, a simple question, we just say, I studied uh, physics in university. Uh, Gabriele, I was born outside of Vienna. Oh, lovely. Very nice. Okay. All right, okay. This is the thing. Uh, I was born outside. Oh, I was born in the country. Um, I grew up just, I think this one, I grew up just outside of Vienna. So I grew up just outside of Vienna, means uh, very close to Vienna. So uh, very near Vienna, just outside, just outside. Um, I went to an art school. I went to an art school. I studied both history and visual arts. I studied both history and visual arts. Okay, so the history of art and visual art, like paintings, statues, real art, um, or um, art you might find in a museum. Um, I worked at, I worked at a gallery for a while. I went back to school to get a master's in art history. Okay, let's have a look and see how you did. Okay, all right. Okay, Gabriele, I was born outside of Vienna. Let me get, let me speed up my connection. So my internet is a, a little bit slow. So I might not be seeing your answers straight away. Okay. All right, we'll move on. So, uh, my autobiography. Use the prompts to present a brief autobiography about yourself. I was born, I grew up, I went to, I studied, I worked in, then I went to. So use the prompts to present a brief autobiography about yourself. So what is an autobiography? What is an autobiography? What 
is an autobiography. So an autobiography. Autobiography is a story about a person's life. An autobiography is a story about a person's life, a true story about a person's life. So, all right, so in the chat, um, write some sentences using the prompts. I was born, I grew up, uh, Vladimir, I grew up in a beautiful village in Ukraine. Lovely. Spelling for beautiful. Um, I grew up in a beautiful village in Ukraine. Lovely. Okay. Write some more sentences using the prompts. So um, I'll write some too. Um, uh, okay. We have done this, this one already in the past. Uh, I was born in London. I grew up in uh, I grew up in the suburbs of Dublin. The suburbs of of Dublin. Okay, uh, Vladimir. I went to Italy in 2001 great wow that's a long time ago i went to italy in 2001 okay um so the suburbs um if you don't know the suburbs uh are the little towns outside of a big city so I grew up in the suburbs of Dublin, okay. Um, all right, Vladimir, tell me some more. Uh, maybe I worked in, then I went to, I studied. Um, I worked in a supermarket when I was in college. So there's another sentence I used, uh, past simple. I worked, oh, sorry. I. Forgot my preposition. Um, I worked in a supermarket. Is past simple. When I was in college. So some college. Uh, past, um, past continuous. I, when I was in college. And um, Vladimir, uh, at begin. Um, at begin, I worked in agriculture fields in Puglia. Okay. Um, instead of at begin, uh, a good phrase um, would be at the start. At the start, I work, worked. Da, 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 da. At the start, uh, I worked, or, or at uh, the beginning. At the beginning. In the beginning. In the beginning. In the beginning. Yeah, in the beginning. 
the beginning. Um, these mean the same the same thing. So at the start or in the beginning is similar to what you said. Uh, at begin instead, uh, maybe in the beginning, I worked in agriculture fields in Puglia. Very good. Okay. Do you have another sentence, Vladimir? Uh, then I went to. So right in the chat, using the prompts, um, uh, a short autobiography. So uh, write sentences using the prompts. I was born, I grew up, I went to. So some past past simple and past continuous sentences um an autobiography is a story about about your life okay so i will just say again there is a, uh, a short delay maybe five seconds to a minute uh, between you sending your comments um, and me seeing them. So um, I'm watching the comments to see. Okay. Uh, Vladimir, then I went to Bologna. Uh, I found construction company and began in the past tense, began to work. Then I went to Bologna. I found a construction company and began to work. So don't forget your articles. I found a construction company and began to work. Very good though. Perfect. Yes. Well done, Vladimir. So um, talking about experiences, what tense is used to talk about a finished action in the past? OK, so I ask you, we covered this at the start. Do you remember what tense is used to talk about a finished action in the past? What tense is used to talk about a finished action in the past? Okay, we have five people at the moment. Does anyone know? And also, uh, what tense is used to talk about something in progress or happening, something in progress in the past? Okay, Fernando or uh, Stefano, uh, when? Okay, Stefano, um, which tense are you talking about? Uh, so, ED, yes, ED, but what tense? Uh, okay, ED uh, is the pa uses, is used for past simple yes past simple so past simple is used to talk about finished actions in the past very good um and what tense is used to talk about something in progress in the past what tense is used to talk about something in progress or something happening in the past. Uh, Stefano, I worked in Ferrera. Oh, lovely. Very good. Perfect. 
Uh, past continuous. Well done, Vladimir. Very good. Excellent. Yes. Past continuous. Perfect. So. Um, here we have a little paragraph. I grew up in the countryside just outside of Seattle. My parents bought a farmhouse there before I was born. They were trying to live a simple rural life. So tell me what, uh, what tenses are used? Uh, so the verbs are underlined. I grew, my parents bought, what tense are these? I grew and uh, my parents bought. So grew and bought. What tenses are they? Grew and bought. What tense are they? They are past simple. Okay, they are past simple. The second two, I was born. They were trying to live a simple rural life. I was born. They were trying to live a simple rural life. So what tense are they? So was born and trying are past continuous. Continuous. Okay. Wonderful. So past simple versus past continuous. The past simple is used to talk about experiences which often have a specified time in the past. For example, we went to the Caribbean last year. So, can you tell me, give me an example uh, a past simple of a past simple sentence. Um, any past simple sentence. It's not important, uh, but you can use the picture to give inspiration. So the beach holiday to talk about the past. So write. Uh, um, write an example of past simple. Write a sentence in past simple. So tell me an example of past simple. And we have one example. We went to the Caribbean last year. Can you tell me uh, another example?
Okay, Fernando. Uh, I went on holiday in Salento. Very good. Okay. Uh, Vladimir, I worked all day today. So just the word order, switch it around. I worked all day today. Very good. Lovely. Okay. Um, so if it was a continuous action, we use past continuous. So can you give me an example of past continuous? Give me an example of past continuous. Uh, for uh, Stefano, uh, in the summer I worked at a bar. Very good, very good, perfect. Now, can you give me an example of past continuous? So a little different this time. Past continuous. So a continuous action that happened in the past. I will read the example. Example, we have a question. What were you doing last night? What were you doing last night? So give me an example sentence using past continuous. Okay, yeah, Stefano. Um, this would still be a uh, past simple. Okay, all right, let me just check. Okay. Um, okay. Um, so I think if we uh, swapped it uh, and said, while my friend was calling me. Oh, okay. All right. I understand. Uh, while I worked, my friend was calling me. While I worked, my friend was calling me. Take out the often, or we can put often at the start. Often. While I worked, my friend was calling me. Actually, I'm just going to take often it because it doesn't work. So, okay, uh, Vladimir, I was traveling in Ukraine last summer. So we don't need in the, we can just say last summer. Um, okay, on summer. No, you can just say last summer. I was traveling in Ukraine last summer. That's perfect. Okay, very good, well done. Um, we, uh, or another example, we were dancing. We were dancing at a beach nightclub. Um, we also use the past continuous with the past simple to talk about interrupting actions. So um, I think uh, Stefano used one there. Uh, for example, uh, we were swimming in the ocean when we saw a sea turtle. We were swimming in the ocean, past continuous, when we saw a sea turtle, past simple. So can you give me an example 
using past continuous with past simple for an interrupting action. Um, so writing uh, a sentence using past continuous with past simple to talk about interrupting actions. So, for example, uh, another example to help. Uh, when I was swimming at the beach, a plane flew by. So just something simple. Or uh, did it, uh, Stefano's, Stefano's uh, last sentence um, is useful. Uh, while I was working, my friend called me. Or while I worked, my friend call, was calling me. Okay, so write your comments down. Um, I'm going to go on to the next slide, but I will look at them. Um, so interruptions, when and while. We use to introduce the past simple. We use when to introduce the past simple. We use while to introduce the past continuous. So fill in the blanks with either the past simple or the past continuous. So at home, uh, we do number two, three, and four, uh, but uh, we'll do number one together. So I eat sleep when the pizza man arrived ah, i said it um so we say i was sleeping when the pizza man arrived so past continuous i was sleeping when the pizza man arrived so can you do number two three and four at home and write your answers in the chat. Okay, Fernando, uh, when subject I, when I was driving, my wife, past tense, my wife had to stop in the emergency area. Very good, perfect. Just remember your subject and the tense, past tense. Um, Vladimir, we were watching TV when called mobile. We were watching TV when, okay, so you need a subject uh, for your second um, part of the sentence. So maybe, uh, we were watching TV when um, we could say uh, when my friend called my mobile or uh, when I got a call on my mobile. When I got a call on my mobile so i got is your past simple 
when I got a call on my mobile. Okay. So, um, did you get number two? Okay, Stefano, Warsaw. Okay, number two. She saw a celebrity while she was driving to work last weekend. Okay, she saw a celebrity while she was driving to work last weekend. So saw is past simple uh, because it is one, uh, only one um, action that happened. Uh, driving is continuous. So she continued to drive and she saw a celebrity and then she kept driving. Yeah. Um, did you get that at home? Number three, what do you think? Okay, um, Vladimir, she saw, very good, well done Vladimir, well done, she saw, was driving, well done, very good. Did you get number three? Write it in the comments, number three, uh, was, Playing, oh, playing with a Y. Let's see. Okay. Um, so the people were playing plural. Uh, the people were playing soccer in the park when it started to rain. Okay. Very good. Just watch your spelling. Um, and plural. For people, it's plural. Um, the people were playing past uh, continuous. Uh, soccer in the park when it started past simple to rain. Okay. Lovely. Um, number four. What did you get? Number four. What did you get for number four? Write it in the comments. Number four. So number four, he text while he watched the film. Okay, so let's have a look at our rule. We have while here. It says we use while to introduce past continuous. Okay. So we use while to introduce past continuous. So here we go. He was texting while he watched the film, while he was watching the film. He was texting while he was watching the film. So we have two, uh, two verbs using past continuous. He was texting while he was watching the film. So with while, we use past continuous. Okay, you got the second one, Vladimir. Well done. Very good. Hey, so I think we'll finish up there for today. Um, if you have any questions, you can put them in the comments um, and someone can help. But thank you for today. Stefano was texting, was watch, uh, was watching. Okay, well done. Both got it half right and it worked together. Well done. Okay. Well, thank you guys, uh, Fernand, uh, Stefano, and Vladimir. Thank you for using the chats. It was a great lesson. And stay safe. I'll see you soon. Okay.